Hey y'all, I just wanted to come in here real quick and do a review on my new Marc Jacobs bag. So this Marc Jacobs bag was a gift from my boyfriend. It was a little push present <laughs> that I kind of uh, persuaded him to get me. Yeah, it didn't take a lot of persuading, but he got it for me and I feel very special for him getting, getting it for me because push presents... I feel like it's a new thing that people are doing and if you don't know what a push present is it's pretty much just an appreciation gift for pregnant women from their significant other they can look like anything some people get really expensive push presents some people get a little bit less expensive it's kind of expensive but um yeah push present can pretty much be whatever you want it to be i don't know i just went along with it and i got me a new bag <laughs> so I decided to go with the small size tote bag because I already have a medium size and the medium size is great but I just wanted something a little bit smaller for a more everyday use but also big enough that it could fit my camera because a lot of the bags that I have they pretty much only fit my phone and my keys in my wallet so I wanted something a little bit bigger um, and this was the perfect size so I went with this small size. Marc Jacobs, they also have a mini tote bag. So they have a bag that's even smaller than this one. Um, but this one is a small size. So I recently started loving Marc Jacobs because it's a really simple design. Um, it's not too, not too much. I like how the bag can conform. It's not too stiff, so the bag can move and it can adjust to whatever you put in the bag. It's not a stiff bag, I like that. And I love the material. I think the material is extremely sturdy and it feels really good, as well as the hardware. I think it's really nice hardware, very sturdy, good quality, and it's great. As you can see, this bag is already opened. I had got this the day of our baby shower, so I opened it right away and we were rushing out. So I didn't really have time to record much of what the bag looked like when he brought it home from the store. But pretty much, it's just in a yellow bag like this with cute Marc Jacobs tissue paper, nothing too fancy. It's a really simple way that they wrap the bag to leave the store, um, nothing too extravagant like some of the more upscale brands that you might see and might they they wrap their bags a little bit more elegantly <laughs> this is pretty basic nothing too extravagant so this tote bag actually came with different straps this strap was an additional thing that Vince got me this strap says Marc Jacobs on it all the way around and it has gold detailing but the strap that the bag does come with, just a pretty basic, um, I didn't even open it. <laughs> just a pretty basic strap, nothing too extravagant. It doesn't have any, any labeling on it. There's nowhere on the strap where it says Marc Jacobs or anything. Just a really simple, basic strap. There's nothing wrong with it, but the one that Vince got me is just a little bit more upscale and it looks a little nicer and sleeker. So I appreciate that. This bag was a couple hundred dollars and then this strap was about $85, $90 I believe. So if you're interested in getting a strap, it's around, I guess it depends which one you get, but it can be up to close to $100 more to get a strap, <laughs> a fancier strap. And as you saw, the bag also came with a dust bag. So if I wanted to store it away, I can store it away in here so that it won't get all messy and dusty while it's in the closet. One other thing that I recently purchased from Marc Jacobs is a wallet. <laughs> I told Vince that I would either want a strap or a wallet and he decided to get the strap. And I still wanted a wallet, so I just went back uh, recently and I got a wallet for myself. I actually didn't open this yet because I just got it yesterday. So we get to open this one together. Nothing too fancy about the way that they wrap it from in the store. And it just comes in this 
simple plastic. So the wallet that I currently have is a Tory Burch wallet that I'm tired of using. And it's not even a full wallet, it's just a card holder. So I can't put any cash or change in there. So I really wanted a wallet where it had a zipper or a little pouch where I can put cash and extra change in. So that's the reasoning on getting this wallet. And also I wanted it to match the brand that I'm wearing the most right now. And the brand that I wear the most is Marc Jacobs. This wallet was about $140 with the tax. I'm just realizing that this is not the wallet I wanted. Oh my gosh, so I'm gonna have to go back to the store. Okay, I'm just gonna open it anyway. So yesterday in the store, it was a little frustrating with the um, with the employees because it, this girl must have been new. Um, because I go into the store, I tell her I'm here to get a wallet. And we look at the wallets for like two seconds. She like barely gives me a minute to look at the wallets. I'm like looking around trying to figure out because I know exactly the wallet that I want and I saw it before online. And I'm looking for it and then she's just like, well, I see that you're expecting. Do you have a diaper bag? Do you need some winter wear? Da, da, da. And she's like redirecting me all around the store. I'm like, girl, I came here for a wallet. Let me look at the wallets. I know exactly what I want. So that was a little frustrating. And then even when we finally find the wallet that I want, I guess they just did inventory or something and they have a hard time finding the exact color that I want. This is not the color that I wanted. I did not want silver. It was more of a like a this it kind of it didn't fully match the tan or the beige but it was something a little bit similar um i can't remember the color that they called it but it was not this but anyways this is the wallet though that i'm gonna get just in a different color and it has the cute card holders here and the zipper here there's stuff in this it. kind of hard to open Put the zipper here for cash and any change that you have. And I also love this wallet because it can connect to the bag right here. Um, and then also like if you just want to take in your wallet, you can just carry it on your wrist too. So that's why I wanted this wallet. It's just not the right color. Um, so I'll just go exchange that sometime this week. It's the same, the same exact thing, just a different color. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick review of that as well in case you're interested in getting a wallet. Um, and it also came with this cute little dust bag here. I'm not going to open it. But it's a cute little Marc Jacobs dust bag for the wallet as well. So this is going to go right back in here. I know I should have double checked. I just trusted them because they looked so hard and it was like, oh, this is it yeah but yeah that the girl who helped me unfortunately hopefully she never finds this video but unfortunately i don't think she's gonna be working there for long because even the girl like after she rang me up she forgot to give me my change like girl what are we doing pay attention come on don't got time for this but either way the mall is right down the right down the street still inconvenient but not horrible and convenient. We're just gonna tuck that back away in this cute little bag and we'll take it back sometime this week. Yeah, so overall, I am super excited about this purse. It can fit a decent amount of things in here. I'm able to fit my camera, my Sony ZV-E10 camera in here. I'm able to fit my when I get my new wallet, I'll be able to get my new wallet, but this is the Tory Burch wallet that I have right now. Um, I just have a couple things. Lotion, lip gloss, hand sanitizer. I'm able to fit my phone. 
I can fit a decent amount of stuff here. I could probably fit some like regular size books in here and a couple other things. But the medium size bag that I have, um, I'm gonna go get it to compare. This is the medium size Marc Jacobs bag that I have compared to the small size. This one is just a little bit more involved, bigger. I could fit a small size laptop in here, not a big size laptop, but a small size. And this one, just pretty much phone, key, keys, camera. And one other thing I wanted to know about this bag, there are no zippers or compartments inside the bag or outside of the bag. So if you're someone who likes to organize and not just stuff everything in your bag, you'll have to get some type of little pouches to put in the bag to stay organized because it doesn't have any like uh, side zippers or anything like that. So that's one thing to keep in mind because if not, you're just throwing everything in there and it's just gonna be at the bottom of the bag. Versus the medium sized bag, it does have some compartments on the side so you're able to store things in a zipper and then also two pockets right here. So, depends what you're looking for. But overall, they're both great quality. This one's also a different strap. I had this one for, I believe, over a year now. And it's very sturdy, very well put together. There's nothing, you know, no tears, rips or tears or anything like that. So I really appreciate it that about these bags they're very good quality but yeah so that will conclude my small size in the color beige Marc Jacobs bag if you have any questions please comment them below otherwise have a great day and be good all right y'all so I just left the Marc Jacobs store to do my exchange the bag's all beat up because I had it in my purse but to do the exchange for the wallet that I did want. Let's see if they got it right this time. I was looking at it, it's, it's the right wallet. <coughs> and it's crazy because the lady who sold me the original wallet was in there and she's like, what happened girl? I'm just like, got my face, but whatever. Anyway, this is the wallet that I wanted. The color is black and white. <sighs> I don't know, I thought it was like a different color, but it's black and white. It's perfect. It's perfect. I feel like it matches well because the white is like an off-white. It's not necessarily white white. And then it also matches my other black Marc Jacobs bag, so I'm content. I'm excited. And it was easy exchange. I mean, exchanges at Marc Jacobs, you can do exchange with just the same product, just a different color or whatever, and it's quick and easy. Or if you, you can exchange something with equal or greater value, some type, I forget the wording for it, but Basically, you can only exchange Marc Jacobs stuff for store credit. You can't get your money back. So if you buy something from there, just make sure it's what you want because you ain't getting your money back. But yeah, so this is a wallet that I was talking about that I originally wanted. So I'm gonna put this my stuff in there later when I get home and go from there. I'm really excited show keep oh it comes with a little um chain like this so it can connect to your to your bag so cute super super cute all right let me get on the road yeah i just wanted to show you guys that update this is the exact color that i wanted